Here we are with Peter Lawson from the Black Hills Institute of Geological Research. How you doing, man? I'm fine. How are you? I'm oh, doing great. Thank you so much for uh, being here today. My pleasure. So, um, how many T-Rexes have been excavated? Right now, uh, what I consider to be of, of scientific significance, there's about 50 specimens. We've just collected our 10th one this last fall, so uh, and quite a few. But some of, the, some of them are rather incomplete, but they teach us something about Tyrannosaurus rex yeah. behavior or something like that. And from uh, my understanding, you alone have uh, been part of the most T-Rex discoveries Probably uh, in the ten, world. Ten, ten, uh, you know, we've, we've excavated 10 T-Rex. I've never found one myself, though. They've all been found by yeah. basically by amateurs who are out, out looking, for, looking for the beasts. Yeah. And um, so you're a T-Rex specialist. Why T-Rex? Uh, I guess just because it's the coolest dinosaur in the world. <laughs> Plus, it just I, I happen to be lucky enough to have found a number of them, and uh, uh, not found, but you know, collected a number of them. And, and the first one was of course Sue. And uh, so you know, that was my first love, and it's really hard to, to work on other things when you've got T. Rexes that you found too, or that you collected yeah. too. And um, with uh, the fossil records, you know, it's very hard to. Uh, to um, tell with sexual dimorphism because of uh, the, the loss of the feathers and the frills. And uh, you have discovered that T-Rexes are, or they do show sexual dimorphism. Right? We, uh, we found there are, there's, there's basically two t different types of T-Rex skeletons. There's a more robust or more heavily built and a more lightly built one. Um, uh, and it turns out that the more heavily built ones, uh, there's one specimen that has been found with medullary bone in the femur, and that medullary bone actually uh, uh, is only produced or, uh, with an ovulating female. And, and with other evidence and stuff, we believe that the, the heaviest and more, more robust ones are a female. And that was my next question about, <laughs> the, about the medullary bone. And uh, how many of those bones have you guys discovered to actually stamp that down and approve it that that is? There's one published, but there's but uh, I can't tell you more than that. There's one published one, yet. <laughs> but there's also something very exciting that uh, we're working on right now too. Gotcha. And uh, you know, <laughs> so as you you know, you say about T. Rex, and you know, you can't go back to any other dinosaur, and it's it's pretty amazing. You know, they left their remains as gifts. They and, did, and, and, and it's just—it's <laughs> such an honor to find them. Um, um, whenever I was part of uh, the museum with Chris Fliss, uh, he and I found a Dimetrodon, and I couldn't go back to any other little area <laughs> out on the ranch. I was just so set in that little—I just wanted to dig it out, and it was just—it became obsessed. Uh, so, tell me about your experience with working with Sue. Well, um, uh, she was just a, 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 a wonderful, wonderful gift that was just keeps on giving. There's something uh, almost uh, whenever we look at her bones and stuff, we see something else that tells us about her behavior or, or the diseases that these animals have. Or, you know, in, in particular, looking at the pathologies, uh, we can see all sorts of things that tell us, give, basically give us little snapshots of their, of their life so we can look at them as more of a, a living entity instead of just a dead pile of bones. Yeah. And it completes the story of the past. And with uh, big thanks to uh, Dog Wolf Productions, who also put out Blackfish. Now they came out with Dinosaur 13. And it you you had a fight through owning this dinosaur as well as Williams, the own, the landowner, and was well, the FBI and the Cayenne uh, Indian tribe. So the well, yeah, it's, it's a long, very uh, strange tale that uh, uh, takes more than the two hours to really tell the whole thing. That, that uh, but Todd's done a wonderful job with Dinosaur Thirteen, and and it's actually Lionsgate in this country and CNN, so it'll be on C. It's it's showing here at the museum uh, tonight, and I think uh, 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 for a bit longer into October, I believe. And uh, it'll also be on CNN uh, sometime this, later this fall. And it'll be available on DVD also. And uh, it tells this really weird and strange story that uh, you couldn't make up. And what I find really strange is, uh, as much as I do hate McDonald's, but they actually helped preserve it to the public, and now it's at the Field Museum in Chicago. Yeah, the, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, at a, it's at a very, very nice museum that gets uh, lots and lots of visitors, millions of visitors a year get to see Sue. So, you know, it's in, it's in a good place. Of course, we wish you were in South Dakota. We're actually uh, 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 hoping now we've been in talks with Field Museum uh, 
in hopes of getting a cast of Sue to come back to Hill City. And wouldn't that be awesome? That would be amazing. Yeah. And uh, speaking of uh, having America's or the world's favorite dinosaur over at uh, the Field Museum, you guys have Stan. We do. We have uh, Stan, which is the second most complete and the second largest T-Rex has been found to date, too. So she's on, or he, sorry. He. He's on exhibit at the Black Hills Museum, uh, at, at the Museum at Black Hills Institute in Hill City, South Dakota. And if anybody can come and see, come and see him. Was, um, and you're the president of uh, Black Hills, and you oversee a lot of the projects. What uh, Right now, what's going on right now over at Black Hills? And We're working on our 10th T-Rex right now, doing starting preparation on it, and... Um, Finding some really cool things. It's it's the same size as Sue. It's one of these really big ones. So, yeah. uh, and in fact, it's got some indication that it might even be older than Sue. But it's it's as certainly as big as Sue. Not as complete, yeah. but an awesome skull and pelvis and vertebral column. Can you discuss? Too. You know, whenever we're working out with like, you know, some of these guys, the smaller dinosaurs, you know, you get a pick and you either just chisel away. Can you explain something that you know, just chipping away the matrix on a larger scale? Well, it depends on how the dinosaur is preserved, what the matrix is like. Some of the matrix is actually harder than the bones, and this, of course, is, is, is the most difficult uh, type of rock to work with. But uh, uh, we also have, um, uh, sometimes the, 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 the rock is actually a, almost a loose sand, and that's what this newest T-Rex is in, is in a very loose sand. But that adds its own problems, because the fossil is very fragile, and so it's going to take a lot of conservation uh, to, to really keep it together. All right. And um, you're, you guys are also, uh, you guys discovered three Triceratops? Four, actually. Oh, no, there's, you, four. there's a fourth one? There's a fourth one. So awesome. There was, a, there was at least three at the time. I thought uh, I thought at that time there were probably four, but now we have have uh, uh, eight femurs. So. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> We've got four Triceratops. And, Only uh, one place. We never found that before. Just uh, Before it was always just single individuals. So very unusual. That's cool. So here we are today at uh, the Houston Museum of Natural Science, and you actually helped put these dinosaurs together, eh? Yeah, a lot of the exhibits here are, yeah. are ones that we did. Yeah. Which, uh, by the way, it's one of the best in the world. It's, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. And um, so, you know, the Bone Wars. Say, if, uh, in a modern-day Bone Wars, mm -hmm. in a fight, who would win, <laughs> you or Dr. Bakker? Oh, Dr. Bakker. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because uh, he is truly a genius. He's, he, he is. is. He is. There's, there's nobody can, uh, uh, you know, there's, there, <laughs> there's no way you can beat him in a battle of wits. There's, there's of no, anything. Any topic. <laughs> he's got any it. topic. Yeah. You, know, you want to talk about Japanese battleships, he knows it. You want to talk about dinosaurs, he knows tanks, it. Tanks. Yeah. Tanks, tanks, you know, anything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Larson Zero. Bakker one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Um, so, for you guys out there watching it, check out the movie. It's called Dinosaur 13 by Dog Wolf Productions. Thanks a lot. Yeah, is there anything else? It's actually uh, Todd, Todd Douglas Miller is the, is oh, the, is Todd the director. Oh, yes, Todd, Todd Douglas. Douglas. And it's, and it's, Can't uh, forget it's, him. It's actually, in this country, it's Lionsgate. It's Dog Wolf in, in Europe. Oh, in Europe. Okay, yep. okay, gotcha. Yep. There you go, Lionsgate. So, check it out. It's a good movie. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.